Uh, so I come uh, from, uh, I'm a producer at the NFB. Uh, the NFB was founded in 1939. So uh, it was founded by a Scott uh, named John Grierson, uh, who came in Canada to make propaganda movie to convince Canadian to enroll in the army. Uh, so it's, it's long in our, uh, our, pr our art to engage people and make them change things. Um, after that, quickly in 1941, he brought in another guy from Scotland, uh, Norman McLaren. Most of you probably know him. Of course, he's known as a founding father uh, of, of modern uh, animation, media techniques, and all sorts of things in sound and in visuals. And it's really important uh, to, to, uh, to state this, vision, this guy's vision uh, in 1941, he was convinced that the Frères Lumière did not invent, in, invent cinema. Uh, in, cinema should be invented at every film, with every new film. And this is pretty much uh, at the core of how we work at the NFB. So it is rooted in our tradition to try to push the limit and explore new ways to, uh, to observe the world and to tell stories about it. Uh, the NFB is a, a federal agency, uh, so we get yearly funding from the federal government. Uh, so this allows us to push those limits every year where uh, we have some sort of independence, of course, uh, money-wise, and we have almost full independence uh, politically-wise, even though we're a, 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 fund, a government funded agency. Uh, so rarely, uh, there are some stories, but rarely we are blocked in any ways. And the main goal is really to uh, reflect Canadians' vision and takes on Canada and on the world. Uh, so this is really uh, what we're about. So from 1939 to 2009, uh, tomorrow I'll to the intervals, uh, but uh, in 2009, uh, the two uh, interactive studio uh, were funded. Uh, so there's one interactive studio which I belong to uh, in Montreal, in Canada, and the other one is in Vancouver on the on the west coast. Some interactive words uh, works do take place uh, in Toronto and in other studios uh, across Canada. There's uh, I never get there. Uh, let's say 10, about around 10 studios all over the, the country. Uh, the headquarters is based in uh, Montreal. All the animation studios are based in Montreal. And the uh, film studios are all over the countries. Um, so what I'll do first is I'll just give you, uh, this is the studio reel. So this is mostly work that was done uh, up until 2013, 14, I don't quite remember. And then I'll, I'll move for where we want to go next uh, afterwards.
like I was saying before, uh, we don't care that much about technology. Uh, we care about the story, we care about the experience mostly. And then going into that uh, process of creation, uh, we find the technology that is needed to tell the story or to create the experience we want to tell. Uh, and this is how we work, how we associate. As you've seen and heard, we've, uh, we've uh, done a number of, of, of uh, projects with Arte and, and France Télévisions also. Uh, we've done projects with Encuentro in, in, in Buenos Aires. Uh, and, uh, well, Germany, we, we, we associate with people who have the same kind of uh, mindset uh, to go into the creation. Uh, we see creators that are really open uh, and are not bothered by a format. Uh, they, they, they have a strong intention of saying something to the world, uh, and we work with them as producers to bring the idea as far as possible. Uh, but we are a production company, so at some point uh, we have to deliver to the public, and the public is really central to uh, what we do at the NFB. So just let me go to you. Uh, who has done or wants to do interactive work amongst? Okay. Uh, and the other is, do you come from film mainly? Who's come from film industry or film production? Okay, so it's pretty half and half. Uh, so just to, to get a, a wrap around it, usually when we, we present ourselves, we, uh, we always uh, associate, we, we say we want to associate with people uh, who are bringing us somewhere else. Uh, so over time, uh, we've worked with video games people, uh, uh, social networks, uh, creators, and, and people like that, that kind of create a tension between us bringing our expertise into a project and them with their new expertise, their, their new uh, way of to master uh, a link to their public. Uh, so this, is, uh, this has come out after a number of years of, of producing. It's the eighth year now. And we've posed uh, for almost a year not releasing any projects, uh, just to think that over. So we've done a number of web docs uh, we've won awards like it was. Uh, we've uh, uh, we've won award, but we failed also on many of those projects. And this is really important to us to create that room to just go along and and accept the failure and but spin it around very fast into the next project. Uh, so what we are uh, where we are now uh, in time is really uh, releasing for the next 18 to 24 months. Uh, a number of projects. Usually we use to release from eight to 12 projects a year, depending on the scale of the projects. Uh, some of them on international level, some, some of them more on a local level. Uh, and what we do now is pretty much the same. Uh, we are still associated with Arte. Uh, we've just released uh, uh, the enemy uh, VR installation in, in Paris, and we're soon to release the AR with augmented reality version in a couple of weeks, uh, and we're going, going to go on, on tour after that. Uh, we also uh, outputted not so long ago uh, a new call for project for 60 seconds mo mobiles with Arte and IDFA, uh, because what, as I was saying, we're always on the lookout for new creative ideas, so new crea creative people, of course. Uh, that's one way of doing it. We're also trying to occupy more and more the social platform where everyone is at right now, and this is a big challenge for us. We, are, we have our platforms. We kind of consider ourselves as broadcasters, as webcasters, um, but we really need to tap in those new uh, places where people spend hours and hours every day con consuming content of every kind. Uh, so this is where we're aiming for the next year. So even the big projects that are pushing the limits of storytelling and into technology, uh, we will still need to output uh, stuff, original content still, but to those platforms connected to uh, the main projects in order to create that link uh, with our public because that's one of the big challenge after almost 10 years of creative work into documentary uh, filmmaking and just doing artsy thing also. Um, 
it's really important for us, and this is the main focus for the years to come, to try to create a permanent link with the people that are interested in what we do. Uh, so there's more people doing it, <laughs> first thing. So more people appreciating, appreciating it. Oh, that's a tough world. <laughs> you understand, right? <laughs> they like it. Uh, to people to like it, and uh, also to, uh, to young talents uh, to choose those formats and those kinds of, of ways into creation. Merci. <laughs>